On July 24, 1969, astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins triumphantly returned from the most important mission ever accomplished in human history. They have just been on the moon. They are the first human beings to have ever visited another celestial body and to have safely returned from it. On the recovery ship, they are welcomed by President Nixon in person. After a brief exchange in front of the cameras, Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins are placed in quarantine for a few weeks of isolation. Then, on September 16, they appear for a press conference in front of the global members of the press who welcome them with a standing ovation. Everyone expects to see three absolute heroes radiating with happiness and pride for their incredible achievement. But their faces appear somber, tense, somehow preoccupied instead. They seem uncomfortable, and there are several truly embarrassing moments during the event. When the three astronauts are asked the meaning of a mission that has brought mankind on another celestial body for the first time, the three don't seem too eager nor too enthusiastic about answering the question. Uh, many of us and uh, many other people in many places have speculated on the meaning of this first landing on another body in space. Would each of you give us uh, your estimate of what is the meaning of this to all of us? And when Armstrong describes their achievement as the beginning of a new era, he seems more like a person forced to read from a script than someone actually convinced of his own words. The entire program, it's uh, a beginning of a new age. Possibly the most embarrassing moment of all comes when the famous astronomer and journalist Sir Patrick Moore asks the astronauts whether they could see stars from the moon. When you looked up at the sky, could you actually see the stars and the solar corona in spite of the glare? But not one of them, surprisingly, remembers having seen a single star by the naked eye. We were never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Even Collins, who was left orbiting the moon while the other two descended on the surface, does not remember seeing a single star. I don't remember seeing any. 